Accepted.
You remember the stuff I told you about my sister? <sighs> I'm tired of losing what's important. I thought it would be better not to let things get too important than to risk losing them. But lately, I don't think so. If I want to avoid that feeling, I have to work to protect what's precious to me. And that means everything precious, including you. What are you apologizing for? Um, so... It's really strange. I really liked hanging out together. I used to, anyway. But now, I feel all tense and on edge. It's the weirdest thing. Love? This is love. Huh. Oh, uh... It already slipped out, but... I'd like to know how you feel. <laughs> Will you be my girl? Really? Oh, uh, sorry. Um... Well then... Here's hoping for the best, right? Wow, uh, this got awkward all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry, there's nowhere to sit except the floor. Maybe I have a cushion somewhere. Oh, uh, you want something to drink? Yeah, I guess I should. Is this better? Um, my room doesn't weird you out, does it? You think so? Huh, <laughs> that's good. Though... I guess that means it's me, not my room, that's weird. This is all new for me. Well, hey, don't tease me. I wanted to give you this today. Will you take it? Don't you think it looks like you? Uh, what's with that face? It looks just like you. <laughs> there was a time when I thought I was just seeing Miki in you. But when I bought that, I knew then that wasn't the case. Passing by toy stores always made me think of Miki, but I still kept trying to forget her. I didn't want to face what happened. I kept telling myself I was doing everything I could. Then when I saw that in the store, your face was the first thing that popped into my mind. And then I thought about Miki. I thought about her smiling. If it hadn't been for you, I might never have gotten over it. I would have just pretended that I did. Whether things have been painful or happy, or sad, you've always been there for me. You should know that if you're ever going through hard times, I'll be there for you, too. From now on, we have each other. <laughs> I... I hope you don't mind me saying this, but... You mean a lot to me. I love you.
wonder how things would have gone if you hadn't come here. Uh, I mean, Port Island in general, not this room. D don't think I'm gonna lose control or anything because I let you in here. Oh, come on, don't laugh like that. You're the only one I can act this way around. Would you mind calling me Aki? Come on, let me hear how it sounds. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be sure to make you happy. In time, I hope you can find even more about me to love. Merry Christmas. Everyone, I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Everything. <laughs> Are 
you all right? Oh, thank God. I couldn't find you, and... I thought you might have gone off somewhere. I remember now everything that happened. The fighting, Tartarus, all of it, and how I fell in love with you. I'm sorry I forgot it all. But everyone remembers now. And starting now, we'll never be apart. The hell? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh, man. This is worse than I thought. Hey, you. I think you're in the wrong place. Uh, well, I... You don't belong here. Get it? Beat it, goatee. Uh, goatee? Oh, you, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, 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 are you nuts? Take a look around you! I'm not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. What was that? She just called us scum. <laughs> we'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so clever. Oh, these guys are the worst. You ought to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, Goatee. This bitch is a pain in the ass. Huh? <laughs> Junpei! That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. All right? Who do you think you are, dumbass? You want some, too? You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? Wanna give it a try? Uh, uh screw this. <laughs> what a loser. Damn you, Shinjiro. That's right. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? You better grow eyes in the back of your head. Oh man, Senpai, that was awesome. Hey, I remember you. You clowns were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots! Get out of here! This place isn't for you. Wait! We came here for a reason. Did Aki tell you to come here? Stupid move. What do you want to know? About that ghost story? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's a rumor. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night about all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. Fuka's spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Fuka girl might be dead. She hasn't been home in over a week. Are you serious? I thought she was out sick, but she's missing? So much for the ghost story. Mr. Ikoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. It's you who can't let go. Nothing. That's all I know. Satisfied? I didn't do nothing. Um. Thank you very much. You even gave us a hint. You're very kind. Huh? I, uh, never mind. Don't come here again. You're getting on my nerves. The situation has changed. Sorry, but this time I'm not asking. What? This belongs to you. Uh, we have a new enemy. They're persona users like us. Uh, yeah, so what? There's more. K 
Ken Amada has joined our team. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki-san is okayed. He's You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Let me ask you one thing. Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. <sighs> then count me in. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Is my room still vacant? Yeah. Sheesh. Another girl? First meet Suru, and now her? So what? She might be a girl, but she's one hell of a... That ain't my point, numbskull. I'm saying you gotta keep an eye out for her. Honestly.
Where'd you find this? Oh, I see. I thought I'd be fine if I never saw this again, but I never imagined that you of all people would bring it to me. This isn't really to pay you back, but I want you to have this. I was hesitating about if I should give it to you or not. I thought it'd look good on you. Yeah. Look after Aki. You know he's an idiot. You remember the story about the first fight we ever had? It was because... I stole a doll from a toy store. Aki's sister couldn't make any friends. I stole it because I thought it'd make her happy. Aki found out about it, and he beat the crap out of me. And he was crying the whole time. Afterwards, we both went back to the store to return it, and to apologize for what I did. The toy store's owner smacked us both. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all from back then. He's stupid, honest, proud, kind, and a crybaby. That's why someone needs to be by his side. Of course, I'm gonna stick with him. I ain't worried at all because I know you're with him. I'm leaving the rest to you. Stare at me like that all day. I got nothing for you. Haven't you wasted enough time on me? What more do you want? Uh huh? Um, <laughs> don't tease me like that. I mean, why just blurt out something like that? Here of all places. I... I can't do that. I mean, you're... Well, people are gonna get the wrong idea. You... you moron! I... I ain't a nice guy. I can't let you in my room. Don't you get it? No way. It's not gonna happen. Look, you need to watch yourself. Don't bother with someone like me. Idiot. So, happy now? You're always pushing me around all the time. You're just gonna ignore what I want, huh? Huh. <sighs> yeah, well, two can play that game. This is your fault, you know. I'm all confused. You're all I can think about day and night. Damn it. This isn't how it's supposed to be. You get it, right? Go back to your room. If you don't go now, you're not gonna get another chance. <sighs> you're a real piece of work, you know that? Gee. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself clear. I ain't holding back anymore. Do it. I won't stop you. You're right. I wanted to forget. That's why I left the group and tried to suppress my power. But nothing I did could erase the memory. And now I find myself here. The last place I want to be. It's my fault. This is what I deserve. But let me give you one warning. Warning? If you decide to take my life, you'll end up like me. Just remember that. Is that supposed to change my mind? 
Even if all you have now is hatred, one day you'll regret it. Shut up! That's a load of crap! He is correct. Huh? There is no reason for him to feel regret. That is the nature of revenge. Is it not permissible to kill those who are themselves killers? That... that's right. What do you want? The loss of Chidori has posed a bit of a challenge for us. But we cannot simply ignore your meddling. You bastard. Do not fear. This life is but a stepping stone. Salvation shall be yours. What? My. Trying to protect your would-be murderer, you cannot defy fate. Whether or not it comes at this boy's hand, you will die tonight. What's he talking about? You've been taking those pills for some time now. You don't have much longer. That's bullshit. Listen to your body. You know it to be true. Huh? What does he mean? You're going to die? No matter what I do? That's not fair! All this time... I've been waiting for this! The cause of death is not of importance. Besides, the breath of life is faint in you as well, child. After killing him, you were planning to join him, were you not? <sighs> Ken, don't... Since you are both destined to perish, allow me to do the honors. A slight change in timing shouldn't matter too much. Go to hell! <gasps> no! Now then, with what life you have left, answer me this. There is one like Chidori among you, is there not? This has enabled you to locate and defeat those we wish to protect. Now tell me, which one of you is it? If you don't expedite your answer, then this will hurt you more than it hurts me. <sighs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? There, there's no one. Wait! It's... it's me! Is that true? Yes. That's the only reason they let me join. Ken, no! Ah! Quiet. You had your chance. It doesn't matter anymore. I'll never have my revenge. I have no reason to live. I see. How enviable. Then you shall be first. Rest peacefully. Mom. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Why would you risk your life to save the child? Ah! Oh, Shinjiro-san! Shinji! <sighs> and now your comrades arrive. Is there any moment of joy they won't intrude upon? Perhaps another time, then. Shinji! Shinji, hey, hang in there! <gasps> Shinjiro! Senpai! Shinjiro, Senpai! No! Ken. <gasps> <laughs> Why the long fate? Isn't this <clears throat> what you wanted? It's all right. Give yourself time. Let your anger be your strength. You're still just a kid, Ken. You got your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> so don't waste it. Make it your own. Okay? But I... I... Aki, take care of him. I will. Oh. 
Don't cry. This is how it should be. <coughs> the hospital! We, we need to get him to the hospital! Yes, let's waste no time. Uh, it's the dark hour. Until it ends, the doctors won't be... No! Then is he not gonna make it? Don't make a sick guy push himself so hard. It's pretty pathetic of me to forget the way I did. But even then, my feelings for you were the same as always. <laughs> I got one thick skull, huh? The girl I saw in my dreams. It was you. You were crying and laughing like usual. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't a dream. You're really here. <laughs> Man, those guys sure know how to ruin a moment. Timing? For what? Hey, Puka, is I guess ready? H how does she look? This is how I look. Yes, I am cosplaying. No, you're not, I guess. She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru Senpai as a joke. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea, so as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform. The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. Uh, yeah, you do that. He said, I want to go to school, too. Sorry, Korochan. You have to stay here.
So, so this is your room. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be staring. Everything catches my eye. Especially when I think about how all these things belong to you. I... I want to give you this. Please, accept it. That's the key to my house. I... I mean, my house is long gone. But I've been holding on to that key all this time. Please do that. I want you to have it. After all this time, I've suddenly started remembering things. Like about how fun every day was when my mother was still alive. I never thought about it until recently. I tried not to remember. All I kept thinking about was why it had to happen and how sad and angry I was. But I... I began to think about what it means to be... left behind. I still think that my mother must have had regrets. She... She died and... left a kid behind, after all. But I had a lot of good memories about that house. My mother left them for me. That key is filled with those memories. I wanted to give it to you. Because you mean that much to me. I know I'm much younger than you. I've been hating that this whole time. But there's some good things about it. I'm not gonna die before you. I'll always be by your side. I'll never leave you behind. So please, smile for me. Please live for me. Please, let me into your life. P please swear to me too. Swear that you'll stay with me. That you choose to let me be there for you. Please swear it right now. That's not what I asked for, but it's okay. I'm sure that it'll turn out that way. Even if you don't swear it to me out loud, I'll make sure you never have to be alone. It's okay if I take a little more of your time, right? Can I stay here for a little longer? Can I?
Especially with you. You sure you don't mind spending your Christmas with me? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Met you. I'm sorry. I... I had forgotten all this time. I forgot about how I fought by your side. About the promise we all made. Even the miracle you performed. <sighs> you won't go anywhere, right? You'll stay by my side? Please, stay with me. Oh! I bet everyone else is remembered by now, too!
Why you, I wonder? Sure, you're nice and pretty, but I don't think it's that. It's just you. Are you the one I've been waiting for all this time? I know you. I feel like I've known you for a very long time.
You're the only one there is for me. The only one I want. So please, stay with me. You have such a kind heart. You shouldn't give so much of yourself to me. I'll probably make you sad. It's just a feeling I get. Even though you're so precious to me, it's probably wrong of me to feel this way. It's like a forbidden love. Please, touch me. Make sure that I exist. Feel for yourself that I'm actually here. Your hand is so warm. It brings tears to my eyes. Why is that? Please tell me. It's painful deep inside. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before, as adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows. And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> yes, it was ten years ago. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the 13th Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, 
A part of my power shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human girl, who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. I see. I was inside her all this time, and I unwittingly led her to my twelve missing pieces. And then... I see. I understand now. I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm scared. Juno! Wait, did something happen? Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. <sighs> oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh, where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... Sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji kun Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. What's going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us, who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself. And shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? That's right. What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. 
Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me, so in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside her. And by a twist of fate, she later returned here, as a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside her. Inside her? Her special persona awakened, as did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji's the Upriser? A and he was inside her body? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. <sighs> Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun... There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. All life will vanish? Are you saying everyone will die? It would be more accurate to say that everyone will forfeit the will to live. Uh, are you talking about the lost? Fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes, you heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. The affirmation of the fall? When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside her. Of all the people on Earth, it was she who carried me. <sighs> Thanks to that, 
I am able to give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives, and in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to her, there's a part of me that's human. So if death comes from her hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun! If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. You are so kind. I'm sorry to put you through this. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? <sighs> you don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the Dark Hour and become intangible. Ryoji... I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways, so don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in her room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then, okay? Hey, I didn't think I'd ever be in this room under circumstances like these. I had a good time, you know, back then. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice.
See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please, kill me. I don't want you to suffer. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. <sighs> Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Oh, I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you. Goodbye. And... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. It was nice. I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Could you... hold on to this? It's proof that I was human. For however short a time. If you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it. Love you. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably. You are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. It leads here, although no one but you can see it. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Ah, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. My name is Theodore, but please, feel free to call me Theo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. So this is the Polonia Mall, indeed. 
It's exactly as I imagined. Huh. I'm not that easily amused. Hmm. What is that over there? An aqueous duct in a place like this? Hmm. The dwellers of this world must get thirsty easily. Um, I know its true purpose, of course. Why, it's meant to wash one's hands. Um, <clears throat> it was only my small joke. Um, so, what is it actually for? A bit of scenery, I see. Hmm, and what, pray tell, is this facility here? These photographs, most wanted. Reward, I see. So the concept of subjugation requests is not unknown here. Well, in that case, I assume you'd need to bring back a piece of the body as proof of your kill. If there are hunters of such talent in this world as well, I may want to make a few requests of my own. But on second thought, perhaps not. I already have you, our finest guest, for that. Hmm, what is that? This, could this be Club of Rumor? Yes, I heard no end of it. Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions, a subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. Though this marks my first time seeing it in person. Well then, let us venture in. It, it's closed? This can't be. It seems I have no choice but to turn back. Arcade? A series of arches? Hmm. Uh, all right, let us investigate. Bird controlling game? Hmm. The things inside this case, those are birds? They look to my eye more like stuffed animals made of cloth. Hmm. Is this, then, a simulator to practice catching real cranes? Uh, excuse me, I note another aquatic pool over here. Hmm. It's eight degrees Celsius. Of course I can. Shall we be on our way? I'd hate to keep you out for too late. Hmm. This world has its charms. I would relish the chance to visit it again sometime. Thank you very much for today. stairs. They're moving. Uh, I've heard of this. It's called an escalator, no? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have any problem writing something like this, should I? I, I can't allow you to do that. I'll go on ahead. Please, allow me. Oh, this is rather slow. Oh. Ha! Child's play. So, this is a strip mall. A lively place indeed. Mm. 
This smell. No, no, don't tell me. Whoa, you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. So good as to make one's cheeks fall off? That would be dire indeed. Huh? Uh, of course. As if such a thing could possibly happen. Ninety-seven degrees Fahrenheit, and this texture, there's no mistaking it. Mm. There are things your kind is better off not knowing. So I've been taught, which means I mustn't. But using that for cooking, it's apparent now why one's cheeks might fall off. Ugh. Ugh. Yours seem to be in no danger. Thank goodness. Well, if anything were to happen to you, you are, after all, a valued guest. That hurt, didn't it? I'm so sorry. Well now, isn't this charming? Would this be considered a souvenir of my time with you. How unfortunate. I've acquired something precious to me. It's your fault, you realize. That's why I won't let you have this. Thank you for showing me such a delightful time today. The flow of time is fixed at a certain speed, and yet it seems there are moments when it passes so quickly. Oh, that car's... You mustn't allow yourself to become so lost in thought. Now, let us go. So this is a shrine. I see. I'm sensing mysterious presences here. They're different from the shadows. See, there's one behind you. Please don't glare at me so. I was only joking. Now then, the first order of business is to worship at the shrine, correct? Uh, of course I do. First, I put the coins in this wooden box. After which, I must immediately swing the rope. Lastly, I call out my wish. Uh, um, hmm, this isn't good. I'm drawing a blank on what to wish for, but it would be improper not to call out a wish. Huh? Ah, of course. I'll wish for your safety. I wish that my dear friend remains... Um, w would you perhaps mind not listening? It's odd, I admit, but for some reason I don't feel comfortable knowing that you're listening. Everything will be all right now. You'll be protected for all eternity. Do you intend to pray for anything? For mine? But I am an avatar of power. I don't believe I'm quite weak enough to require prayers for my safety, but this must be your generosity of spirit in action. Thank you very much. It isn't mandatory to call out one's wish? Well, if that's so, then why didn't you... Well, never mind. Excuse me, I've been wondering since our arrival, but the structures over here, could these be... Steel, titanium, wood, is this a house? You play with them? Huh. Play? Huh. 
How does it work? It, is it like this? And like this? It's well, quite difficult to maintain one's balance on these. It, it can be used this way too, if one likes. Though it may be a little bit difficult for you. Thank you for a fulfilling afternoon today as well. Hmm. I must let you go home soon. But... Hmm. I wonder what this is. I don't... Understand either. Hmm. Let us return. Ah, we're approaching the stairs. Please mind your step. So, this is Gekko Khan High School. It's difficult to wrap one's mind around such a beautiful place transforming into Tartarus. Hmm? We seem to be under some rather intense scrutiny. They must be able to feel your power too. The denizens of this world seem to have keen senses. Here, please come closer to me. Stay in my shadow. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Now, let us head inside the school. Is this a vending facility? If that's the case, then... Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a school lunch. Oh, yes? Red. Well... They say that having bread for lunch can be a pleasure in itself. I may as well buy one as a gift for my master. Your longest bread roll, please. Now then, won't you guide me on a tour of the school? Ah, a classroom. It's here that you spend such long hours each day. Does it go something like this? Please, go on. My teacher. Hmm. Myself, I enjoy takoyaki. But, uh, it seems there is still much to learn about you. Though I know a lot about the personas inside you. I now have a much better understanding of what a lesson is like for you. Shall we head elsewhere, then? A human figure cast in plaster. What is this Erzat's human used for? A living human would seem much more beautiful to me. Though if the object is to always keep one close at hand, that may be somewhat understandable. 
piano. I'd be honored to be your audience. I don't know much about music, but, well, it felt very warm, especially since it was a performance just for me. Do people run around this circle? If so, I doubt they'd get anywhere. Hmm, going nowhere. Ah, now I see. It was designed with a profound philosophical point in mind. Thank you very much for guiding me around the school. My knowledge of this world is that much deeper now. If it's all right with you, I'd like to again go... Mm, again. That's odd. Why did I come here? And why with you? What is this desire I have to know more about you? Hmm. Oh, pardon me. You must be exhausted. I had you chaperone me to so many different places. Let us go. Please, may I take your hand? So this is your home. Hmm. Um, it's late, I know, to mention this, but is it permissible for me to enter? Ah, I see. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. Was I smiling? Your presence is strong here. Perhaps one would call it your scent. Hmm, that's a difficult question. It would be meaningless to break it down into its component chemicals. It's neither good nor bad. Hmm, if I were to dare hazard an opinion, I like it. Uh, uh, hmm. By the way, regarding my request this time, um, didn't it make you uncomfortable? Huh? Uh, indeed. If that's so, then I'm glad to hear it. This world is filled with exquisite brilliance. The station, the shrine, the school, all had their unique charms. Every moment of the short time I spent with you is an unforgettable memory. Thank you so much. This will be the last of my requests to visit this world. Which means this will be the last chance I have to spend time alone with you. <sighs> you have carried out my request to the fullest. Thank you for everything. <laughs> you are such a minx. Do you understand what it is you just said? This feeling, it's so sinful. You are a guest. And yet my attachment to you is... <clears throat> I cannot hope to calm it any more myself. That's why... Uh, I wish you would understand a little of what I'm feeling. If only you could sense even a little of this raging storm in my heart. You wish to compound my sins. The punishment thrust upon me will be made worse as well, you realize. Such cruelty. All right, then. Come here. Till now, I have been your faithful student. But there are things I can teach you as well. You're supposed to close your eyes at times like these.
if I stay in this world for much longer, I may forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a serious disadvantage. That's why this will be the last time. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Your hand. Please, for the last time. Ah yes, an intimate encounter with one of your world's rarities. This must be a fountain. It makes sport of water, well known to all to be the foundation of life. How wicked! It's rumored that its enchanting nature grants wishes to those who sacrifice a few coins. Is that so? Is it possible that the worth of the coins wasn't sufficient to pique the Fountain Spirit's interest? Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a good supply of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. Then I must try it for myself. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a good supply of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. Forgive me, but my enthusiasm for the fountain couldn't be contained. I brought a number of coins with me. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid to the fountain spirit of 1 million yen. I was so caught up in the excitement of tossing in coins that I hadn't given my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Hmm, what is this facility here? There are some stern-faced gentlemen inside. And these photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward. Am I correct in thinking of these as your version of my subjugation requests? What do they use as proof that the target has been subjugated? If they truly parallel my requests, do they require a piece of the body? My interest is piqued. I see. So they must be captured alive. You've sated my curiosity. It must be a mysterious process, if even you are unsure of the particulars. If they do indeed parallel my requests, I am curious as to how they confirm a completed mission. Do they require a piece of the body? My interest is piqued. This edifice over here, it can't be, is this a club? Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions, a subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. Oh, no, it's not closed for business now, is it? Such a pity, I had hoped to join in on the wild ritual. Won't you? Oh, what a pity. Ooh, that was quite...
quite satisfying. Well then, I will await your display of dance at the Velvet Room. Ooh, that was quite satisfying. My, such dynamic, flexible gyrations. I think I should give you a title, such as Master of the Dance. That was quite satisfying. But I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could recommend our next activity? Karaoke, is that? The place where one can challenge even professional singers at the touch of a button? It seems the time has come to show you my hidden talents. Ah, oh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? This arcade, I have heard of it before. I recall it described as a playground where one sports with electric fairies in exchange for tokens. I have also heard that they contain games where one controls a bird to win prizes. I'm eager to see it. Ah, oh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I wasn't aware that there was a fountain on this side as well. Yet another fountain on the opposite side. I see. So this place is host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission fully accomplished. This may sound forward, but I'd like to accompany you again sometime. stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. It looks simple, but one false step and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. Warning, please refrain from going up the down escalator and vice versa. Thank you. And What's this? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. It's over here. It's in the center of this fenced-off area. It's marked with eye-catching signs which state in bold print, Do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. This is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. A
stairway that tests one's wits, and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. Let's continue forth, our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. Yes, this fragrant aroma, it can't be. Whoa! You can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. Well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. I appreciate the concern, but my curiosity exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, well then, two packages, please. I have never seen a person who has actually lost his or her cheeks. This must mean that the ordinary citizen cannot easily buy these. Oh. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. W well then, two packages, please. Is that so? Unfortunate, to be sure. It must be because the snack is too dangerous for commoners to easily acquire. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Mmm. I have here enough to monopolize the total world supply of takoyaki at a stroke. Well then, two packages, please. Thanks. Here you go, and come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy outer skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. The human mind. It is cursed to forever harbor whatever knowledge it gains, whether good or ill. Forgive my reticence, but there are things your kind is better off not knowing. Hmm. They seem to still be in place. And in any event, there are many other delicacies I feel I must try. I must take care not to lose my cheeks before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain a foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. Oh my! Are you feeling well? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our fourth meal. Still, I'd like to move on to the food group known as Sweets. If you insist, I shall take the opportunity to indulge in more of the takoyaki we had earlier while you rest. Don't tell me. Sweets go in a different stomach. That incantation known to every woman in this world. I have witnessed a true wonder today. We appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. I have to thank you for the tasty experience. 
If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. facility is very similar to a temple. It is a shrine. Now that I'm actually here, I sense mysterious presences. But they are markedly different than shadows. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and worship at the shrine. I have heard that the mysterious energy known as Divine Grace reflects the amount offered. In any event, I have finished presenting my offering. I have finally finished presenting my offering. Though I usually do not reside in this world, I wonder if I too may receive Divine Grace. I wonder... This system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the Wishing Fountain. There are many places in your world for supplicants to request good fortune. You live in a wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... As I thought, they're paper fortunes. I've heard of this game, where people entrust their destiny to a slip of paper and exult in the risk. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here, while I work on obtaining all of them. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what are those things over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem. The inner self is exposed to any true god. Their magnanimity of spirit excuses all. And that being the case, one's way to the top before relaxing in luxury. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. That was a lot of fun. Now, could you please instruct me in the use of this jungle gym? Oh, my. I'm very sorry, but... Could you please teach me the proper way to use the equipment? It would be wonderful if you could begin the lesson with this jungle gym over here. That was a lot of fun. I'd definitely like for you to continue the lessons and teach me to play with the other equipment. Our next goal, I think, should be the proper use of this jungle gym over here. Oh, 
I can't get out. Today was even more enjoyable than our other excursions out. To be honest, I've wondered lately, is this world enjoyable to me simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? It could also be that I, well, Perhaps I may, in truth, be enjoying our time together because we are together. In any event, I believe I'll open negotiations with my master to bring a horizontal bar into our room. I'd like to accompany you again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. High School, a place of learning. It comes as quite a shock that such a warm, luminous place transforms into Tartarus each night. Hmm, what should I do? Everyone here seems to be wearing a predetermined uniform. I may draw too much attention to myself. I hope this won't pose a problem. Understood. I shall heed your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Please excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. If I stay hidden from view this way, there will be nothing to worry about. Now, onward and into the school! This is a surprise! To find a bastion of commerce inside a house of learning. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a school lunch. Oh, yes? They don't handle those here. How disappointing. I would have liked to taste these school lunches in their native environment. I suppose I can settle for bread. I've heard that having bread for lunch can be a pleasure in itself. I would have liked to taste these school lunches in their native environment. But I've heard that having bread for lunch can be a pleasure in itself. 
It may prove to be a serendipitous substitute. Now that we're done here, I'd like to see your home room. This is a classroom. So many desks and students with such a limited amount of space between them. But perhaps... Yes, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony with others. I can feel the careful thought and foresight from whoever arranged things this way. This observation post must be what they call a podium. I see. Standing behind it does cause a longing to teach to well up inside of me. First question. Diet food or Super diet food. Which is tastier? That is incorrect. As a penalty for giving the wrong answer, you will receive your own portion of diet food. That is correct. As a reward for giving the correct answer, you will receive your own portion of super diet food. Is this what a classroom lecture is like? <laughs> I'm feeling rather uneasy with so many eyes on me. So let us move on with the tour. human-shaped plaster figure. Were its innards hardened with plaster to prevent him from escaping? It seems a bit cramped in there. I have some knowledge of the piano. Do you know of the Velvet Song? In the Velvet Room we sing a song Of our master with a nose so long it with me. <gasps> Could this be the famous break room where females discuss secret things? Now that I have come here, I must discuss secret things with you. Th this doesn't leave this room, but... My master always asks to play cards using the deck of personas. It's so lame. Would that be the correct way of going about it? that I've experienced student life. My outlook on your world has broadened even further. I'd be happy to accompany you again anytime. Uh, although, to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives in wanting to come here. But while walking so closely beside you, I... How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. Perhaps what I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, discovering the reasons behind this desire should provide an intriguing diversion for me.
Student dormitory, where you spend your days. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room. Well, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. I see. Actually, I do have something I'd like to talk to you about. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room, if I may be so bold. Recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Oh. It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled after coming here? I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I have an older sister, but these feelings are different even from what I feel for her. In fact, you are the only one towards whom I feel this way. Hmm. This feeling, it's only regarding you. What am I to you? Oh. Indeed, that is true. I am a mere resident, and you a guest. Mm. Friends. So this is... friendship. <laughs> Please, say no more. I'm... frightened. I... am feeling rather fragile. Indeed, I may already be broken. Hmm. I feel 
feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. I have good news. I guess is coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her wounds have finally healed. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya! I'm back, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, I'm glad to see you. I was getting nervous. <sighs> Me too. I was fearing the worst. I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery, but I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean, considering the circumstances. If that's true, then I'm relieved. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... If I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Ryoji has presented you with a difficult choice. Have you made your decision? I have a favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, when Ryoji comes, please, please kill him. 
I can't bear to see everyone hurting like this. Please choose to have your memories erased, even if... even if it means forgetting everything and everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, this isn't like you. What's wrong, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My mission is to protect humanity from shadows. But now I know that I can't defeat them. So then... Why am I here? I'm useless. I cannot even shed a tear for you all. Oh, I guess... Why fight when you know that you can't win? What is the purpose of that? Why are you wasting your lives? Yeah, she's right. We're just planning for the future, right, Ken? Right. I... I don't understand. It must be because I don't possess a life. <laughs> this has nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine. A machine that was created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't fulfill that mission with the powers I was given. So then, what is my purpose now? Could someone please tell me? We don't know the answer, I guess. The only one who can tell you what your purpose is, is you. That's why we're having such a hard time making our decision. There's just no easy answer. But as long as we're alive, we have to do something. When we see others hurting, we want to help them. So that's our purpose. <laughs> I'm not too good at explaining it, but that's what we all think. Can finding one's purpose really be so simple? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you will lose sight of your goal, and you will have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then you must set your heart on a new goal. I'm not really one to talk. But I feel that I've come to understand something important this year. To truly live, you will need to make changes sometimes. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can change? Yes. I mean, you've changed so much already. Haven't you noticed? In fact, you're changing even as we speak. I know what my purpose is. I'm a machine. A machine who is here to live. And the one who has given me this new purpose is... me. This is the promise I've made to myself. I don't know how I'll do it, but I guess that is part of living, too. Yes. Will you allow me to join with you all? Thank you. I will be with you all, no matter what happens. That's the spirit!
there you are. We're all going to uh, Hagakure. Want to come? <laughs> nah, I wasn't expecting you to. Akihiko san's buying. Him and me had a little bet in Yakushima. I can't really go into details, but in the end, I guess you're the one who actually won. <laughs> you didn't even know you were part of it. Well, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Anyways, I've just been waiting for you to get back. Everyone else already left, so we got a jet. Is the special okay for everyone? Okay. Five specials, please. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko-san's never treated us all to ramen before. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? That was only with Junpei. <laughs> Not this again. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on that counter? There's an article in it that looks highly disturbing. Which magazine? It's this one. Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Huh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Huh? Hey, look at the photo in this. Check out the so-called Messiah. Oh, what the? I is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, Strega's behind that cult. <sighs> I've lost my appetite. Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true! I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. That son of a bitch. But there are those who do not understand this truth even though they have also been blessed by her. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it, using it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? How did he get so popular all of a sudden? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. They must have been planning this all along. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takaya's preaching? Uh, I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. But, is that so surprising? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? I guess. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? Our objective is Nyx.
If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I agree. We'll probably run into them at Tartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. The promised day will soon be here. <laughs> as fearless as ever. All right, and if that's the case, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. Junpei, don't forget you're having half of Igus's food too. Oh, don't worry, I'm starving. You just better eat it all.
The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring, but this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away, accepting the inevitable, all things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <laughs> my life will be worth living if it's for this reason. 
Thank you. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! Everyone, I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Thank you for everything. You're tired, aren't you? You can close your eyes. I'll always remain here by your side. The others will be here soon. Don't worry. I'll always protect you. <laughs>